I don't mean to alarm you, but the t-shirt you're wearing right now is likely trying to kill you. Just let me be a monkey. So you've probably heard fabrics like polyester, nylon, frickin' viscose. They're unnatural, they're plastic, they off-gas, like, they make you sick. I know Brian Clement from Hippocrates wrote a book, like, Toxic Clothing or something, but I did not know the rabbit hole went so deep on this one. We got a lot to talk about. So, there was a study by Heidi Yellen back in 2003, and she used this machine that Bob Graham invented. It's called a AG Environ machine. This could all be hippie shit, not real at all. I've likely been fooled once again, but hear me out. So she does this study and she measures the human frequency is 100. So like we're perfect 100. If you have a clothing material on you that's less than that, it will bring you down. So diseased humans measure low at like 15. So depending on your disease, you could be low, maybe a cotton shirt is helping your sick ass, but most likely, if you're wearing bleached cotton which measures at 40, it brings down your field, man. So first let's get into some of the frequencies of various different clothing materials and then we get into the mysterious nature of how we've been told already in the Bible and several other Bible-related books. So we're a hundred. Organic cotton is a hundred, so you're cool. It's not gonna heal you. It's not gonna make you sick though. Silk? You'd think, oh, natural, silkworm. 10. I sleep on silk pillowcases. That's why I'm dying. That's why I have acne for sure. As soon as I heard that, gone. I've ordered organic cotton. That's not gonna heal me. I knew that I should have ordered linen. Rayon? The bamboo that's been pushed for the past 10 years or so, heavily, 15. You might as well drink sewer water with a rat next to you and talk about your trouble because you're both dead in a week. And then all the plastic materials like polyester, acrylic, spandex, lycra, nylon, and viscose all measure a zero, a frickin' zero. You might as well just wear burlap sacks you get potatoes in. I actually saw a guy yesterday wearing one. It was the weirdest thing I've ever seen. It was just a long burlap thing. He's probably the healthiest guy on the planet right now, so. Now when it comes to super fabrics, we have two. Linen measures 5,000. Now here's where my first bit of skepticism kicks in because how does a human being divine in its nature measure 100 but a flaxseed is 5,000. That's probably why Brooke Goldner's protocol works. I'm just saying. 5,000. The only other fabric that can match it is wool. Also 5,000, but if you dare wear them together, it goes to zero and slowly kills you. You know what the crazy thing is? Get out your Bible, my friend. Flip on over to Deuteronomy chapter 22, verse 11. Are they called verses? Thou shalt not wear a garment of divers sorts as of woolen and linen together. The Bible just warned you when it was written 40 years ago. I cannot believe it. It was in the Bible and now we've proven it scientifically. What they're saying is I don't know if I'm going to reverse this or not, but flax has a, an electric field that goes right to left and wool has a field that goes left to right and you wear them together and they cancel out. So you have to wear only pure linen robes from now on or you consider getting a wool sweater in the summer like I'm going to do. So apparently flax reflects light and us being light beings of space, for whatever reason, our clothes need to reflect and enhance us. Whereas like polyester and stuff, it just, it doesn't do that. And that's why you're dying. Flax in Latin means being most useful. That's bound to prove something. 
You know, it's funny when I'm researching all this stuff and they said something like in the book of Moses, they said this woolen thing. I didn't know it was in the Bible. The funny thing is I had highlighted that exact chapter thing, that verse, and I forgot it completely. I just took it as nonsense. Like, yeah, okay, I won't wear linen and wool like I was going to do that anyway. But like, wow. So that got me thinking. I went to Value Village the other day. I was thinking, what else? is in these religious texts. I got a little Quran here. I'm going to skip through that one. Is there anything? God turned back those who denied truth in their rage without having gained any advantage. God, w okay, we'll leave that for another day. I also got the Children's Illustrated Bible. It's more on my level. I tell you, this one's, that's a tough read. That's a tough read. There's a lot of weirdness going on there. I need pictures. And stories that make sense of stuff. Moses, where is he? How tall was he? So here's the deal. There's been studies that show that you dress a wound with flax cloth and it heals faster. I am only going to wear flax from now on if I can find it. I can't find it. You look up linen. I was going to get like linen sheets and pillowcases, but Amazon lies to you. It's like linen in the title. 40% cotton. Some polyester in there. You piece of shit. I bought this merino wool t-shirt a long time ago, but I did not realize it was like 13% nylon, so that cancels it out. And apparently black clothing kills you. Do you have any idea of what my closet is full of? Bleached cotton, mostly black. No wonder I am who I am. This video might hurt the vegetable police t-shirt sales. I... I'm realizing that now. We do not have organic cotton or any other material. It's mostly plastics. And you will die if you buy one. But still, it helps support the channel. And links are down below. But I am so blown away. Like, look at this. Linen antibacterial hypoallergenic. Frickin' doesn't accumulate stack. You sweat less. Solar gamma radiation reduced. You need that. You can sew yourself up inside. I might rip out my hernia mesh and just use flax seeds in there to patch up the hole. Shields you from EMFs. There's nothing this stuff can't do. If you know a source where I can get flax clothes that look normal, I don't want to be in a robe like that beige colored and I'm just the freak. Like, what's he doing? But I will do it if I have to. You know I will. So I'm only flax from now on. I spent so much money on vegetable police t-shirts, they're killing me. I just bought 100% merino wool shirts, but they're black. So that's gonna, oh man, why can't I do anything right? Now before you vegans come at me with the wool, I shave my head every couple months and I enjoy the process as do sheep. I know some of them some farms are just bad. They like cut the tails off. I've seen the nightmares of wool, but if you can source it normal, it's a haircut. They enjoy it. They frickin' frolic after their hair is cut. They're like, yay. Sheep love to give you their wool. That's why they're here. Not to be eaten. Don't ever eat a lamb. I'll kill you. But it's the linen that I'm most interested in. Frickin' resistant to harmful radiation. Can you believe that? Bacterial underwear. I'm not reading that properly. Skin diseases. I could be curing myself. I'm getting some flax towels at least and wearing nothing but that around the house. That's my first step. My first advice to you. Just get linen in your life somehow. Organic if you can find it. 100% linen. Drape yourself in it at some point and watch the magic happen. I'm waiting for magic and it's coming to me. So this just goes to show us that we knew everything thousands of years ago when the Bible was made. Everything's in there. And we're just catching up slowly with our science. But it's all in there. Everything. So read that a couple more times and you might remember three or four sentences of it. And follow the rules, my friend, and you will be healthy. This is cotton, but it's bleached. I suck at this so far but how you doing did you learn something you thumbing the video up thumbs down if you are going to wear p 
pig tooth clothes. The frequency of pig teeth is likely less than six, and it's a hard material, definitely not breathable. They only come in white. It's more of an off-white. I don't think you're going to heal yourself with pig teeth like you think you are. Just go for the flax, it's proven. In Bible-related studies and scientific hippie devices invented by people who are likely dead now. That's fine. How you doing? Good? May the linen be with you. Subscribe for more man. I'm saying anything?